guys, so it's been about 3 months since I've gotten my iPad Air 5 and since then I think it has really improved my productivity and workflow in terms of how I use it for my work, self-studying and also for content creation. So I really wanted to give you guys an update into how I've been using my iPad so far, how I've customized it and share some of my favorite apps for productivity, creativity and also for digital planning. So first off, I like to carry around my iPad with this cute case that I got from AliExpress and I also decorated it with this custom keychain given by Popular21 on Instagram and I just think it makes my case look so much cuter. I also like that you can customize your own name on it. I also got my mint green magnetic case from AliExpress and I'm pretty happy with its quality as it's got a very strong magnetic hold so I don't really have to worry about my iPad falling off of it. And to match my case, I also got this green carrot silicone case from Shein for my Apple Pencil. So if you've seen my previous vlogs before, you know that I've talked about making my own lock screen and home screen wallpapers and icons. And I'm so happy that I finally had the time to finish it and soft launched it on my own Ko-Fi shop at Love Action Studio. At the moment, I've put some phone, desktop, and iPad digital products on there. But I'm also planning on putting more items on there soon in the near future, so stay tuned for that. So welcome to my home screen. I tried to keep this as simple as possible and limited to only one page as I don't like having a lot of digital clutter. Over on the top left, I have a large smart widget which contains a widget banner that I've made and if I swipe up, it then shows a widget that I find pretty useful as it contains a lot of good information such as my iPad storage capacity, weather, and calendar. This widget is from Top Widgets. I'm honestly not sure if this is the best widget app to use but it does offer a whole bunch of other options so please let me know if you have any other favorite widget apps as i would love to try them out the next widget that I have is from MD Vinyl. This is honestly just for aesthetic purposes. I think it looks kind of cool because it's basically just connected to my Spotify account. So whenever I play music on there, it syncs with the app and shows this really cool turntable effect. I don't really know what it's called. But anyways, I do wish it has more customization options such as having like a white or pastel option so it would suit my setup more. The middle widget is just my reminders app, although I have to admit I have not updated those in a wee while because I mostly use my Notion widget to plan out my day. I really like my Notion widget because I can easily click on to my favorite pages such as my life page, my socials page, and brain dump page. So I'm not really going to go into detail of how my Notion looks because right now it's currently under construction but I am planning on giving a Notion tour in the future so once all of that is finished, keep your eyes open as I might release a video on that real soon. But basically, I use my Notion a lot to plan out my week, dump all of my video ideas for my YouTube YouTube and Instagram and it's also just a really convenient place to dump resources and organize them in an aesthetic way. Notion is just really fun to use if you have that time to sit down and work on it. Another app that I like to use is GoodNotes which is where I keep and write all of my notes nowadays for the online courses that I'm taking. I also use this if I need to quickly write an equation or draw a diagram. I just dump it all in here. I do have to say it is very messy at the moment and I'm still trying to get used to writing digitally. Like, I feel like my handwriting right now just looks awful on here. I also like to use good notes for digital planning as well. So I made this digital planner where I can write down my daily tasks or weekly activities and decorate them with my own stickers, which I feel like you can't really do on Notion. And on good notes, you can also export it as a PDF so you can easily print it out and display it on your wall if you're like a post-it sort of person like me. Now I know that good notes isn't for everyone because it isn't free. So if you are looking for a free note-taking app alternative, I suggest using Cola Notes. To help myself focus and avoid using my phone or iPad, I use the Forest app which is basically a Pomodoro timer that allows you to plant a tree whenever you complete one full cycle. Leaving the app without finishing your cycle will cause your tree to die and I know that's a bit grim but it actually prevents me from going on my phone and helps me focus a lot more. For a free option, I also like to use lifeat.io because you can browse through a whole variety of spaces right down to 
to-do lists, sync your calendar, and import your own Spotify links or media, which is really great because you can customize it to create your own little online workspace. Now for creative work, I really enjoy using Procreate. This is what I use to do all of my doodles for my videos, digital artworks, and drawings for my thumbnails. It has a pretty smooth interface and offers a lot of good built-in brushes, but also allows you to import your own. I also really like how you can download your own drawing time-lapse recordings as it's really fun to watch your drawings slowly come to life. The only downside I think for Procreate is that it is not vector based so you are limited to scaling up your work. So to work around this, I suggest trying out Adobe Fresco or Vectinator which is free. For brainstorming and organizing your projects, I recommend for you guys to try out Milano. I'm currently using it to dump inspiration photos and drawings for my upcoming website, hopefully fingers crossed, although I do have to mention that it's only free for up to 10 photos I believe. And for my inspiration photos, I get them from various apps, mainly on Pinterest. I actually barely post on there, but if you do want to check it out, my handle is at loveactionalyssa. For designers out there, I'm sure you guys have already heard of Behance, which is a great place to check out other people's design portfolios and work. Now, I gotta be honest, I haven't actually used Canva before since I already have Photoshop and Illustrator on my desktop, but I have heard many great things about it as it is pretty user-friendly, especially for non-designers. So I edit all of my my videos on my desktop using Final Cut Pro, but I do have CapCut installed on here just in case my laptop ever dies on me one day. I heard a lot of people use this to edit. Honestly, props to you guys because editing on iPad or iPhone is not easy, especially if you have slippery fingers like me. And lastly, I downloaded this app called iFont Maker because I really wanted to have a go at making my own handwritten font. Unfortunately though, it isn't free, but I really loved the results and have been recently integrating my own font into my recent thumbnails and real videos. If you do want to try out my font, just check out my Ko-Fi store and you can use an app such as iFont which allows you to install fonts onto your iPad or iPhone. Once you do have it installed, you can pretty much use it on any app that allows it such as GoodNotes and Procreate. So my bottom bar is actually organized from least important to most important going from left to right since I'm right-handed. I also just like having my main apps in the first page and if I ever want to open other the apps, I just open up the library and search on it from there. Oh, and the last accessory that I like to use is this Lentian laptop stand because it can be adjusted to various heights and positions, which is perfect for when I want a certain angle for drawing or for when I want to watch YouTube videos on site. So that's pretty much it you guys, I like to keep my iPad set up as simple as possible. How do you guys usually set up your iPad? And do you have any favorite apps that I haven't mentioned in the video? Please let me know in the comments as I would love to try them out. Hope you've enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!